So the first podcast on my list is on purpose by Jay Shetty. Grow as a 
person you want to find out your purpose who will discover the act of service like when i started listening to jay shetty i discovered that your purpose is really when you start working for people now working is not about working like manual jobs for people that's not what i mean but when you give up yourself in the service of others that is when you really find your purpose in life it's not just about oh i want to be rich i want to drive the latest car i want to live in the most fancy house you know it makes you understand that giving it up yourself in service of others that is where your real purpose lies and just basically how to be happy how to be joyful, how to find peace within yourself. There are certain people in today's world that, you know, some people actually go into relationships these days just because they cannot be by themselves or just because they always need somebody to them. They always need someone to tell them how good they are or how, how wonderful they are. This man will literally teach you how to do those things by yourself, how to find peace in yourself, how to be by yourself and be happy. And in those times when you're by yourself, rather than thinking or worrying about, oh, why am I not in this relationship? Or you see people in relationships and you're like, oh, God, why is this not happening for me? Rather than doing all those things, this man will teach you how to really elevate yourself those times that you find yourself alone those times that you don't need any form of relationship it will really teach you how to have a relationship with yourself and how to be happy by yourself he has written two books one is of think like a monk and i think he just released a new book on love or something of that nature i know that i'm speaking so much about jay chef and i'm sorry to inform you that i haven't read any of his books yet but this doesn't mean that i'm not going to read his book like i have plans to get his book this year because the way i love this man the way i i really appreciate what he does and what he has done in my life without knowing there is no how i am not going to get his book so if you are looking to start your education journey if you're looking to level up your life you're looking to better yourself becoming a better version of yourself i would advise you to listen to on couples with jay shet this is a wonderful and phenomenal podcast and even aside him teaching he usually like invites one, some of your favorite celebrities some of like he invites doctors amazing celebrities people that we know that are doing so well for themselves they come on this podcast and they speak they tell you about their lives they're really vulnerable on this podcast they open up themselves so that you can see that some of these things that you're going through now they've been there they've done that so, inside him teaching he also brings on life coaches neuroscientists um doctors entertainers celebrities different kind of people brings it on this podcast to also educate the listeners so yes i really love jay shetty i really love the podcast and he is my number one on this list number two podcast on my list is quality queen control by asia christina mm. for this podcast actually a friend of mine plugged me onto this podcast shout out to you favor <laughs> she plugged me onto this podcast i think it was last year um, during the Asus Drive, she put me onto this podcast, and you know, the day she sent it to me, she was like, Stephanie, have you, have you tried listening to the podcast? It's really nice. I'm like, okay, cool, because I mean, anyone who knows me knows that I love podcasts. So, and I started listening to the, this podcast, and ever since then, like, take it from me, my life has not been the same. This lady, she's a lady in her 20s, I think in her late 20s, but she is so knowledgeable on a lot of things. And one of the things I also love about this podcast is that she incorporates um, the love of God or God into some of the topics that she makes. She's someone who speaks about God, the love of Christ, things that God will not want you to do in your relationship, things that as a girl, like she, she, really, she really speaks a lot to younger girls in their 20s or girls in their maybe teenage ages like this her podcast is really for people probably in their in their younger 20s people who have not really experienced life because she has been there she has done that and she's coming from the angle of somebody who is knowledgeable about these things she talks about certain things like relationships things that you should not settle for in a relationship things that god wouldn't even want you to accept in a relationship she's she speaks so much about dating and relationship because in the world of today, like like I said when I was speaking about on Google's relationships, there are so many people who know that their relationships aren't going great. There are people who know that they are being mistreated or maltreated in a relationship. Like being maltreated doesn't necessarily mean someone being physical with you, emotional abuse. There are people who, who encounter such things in relationships, but due to the fact that they are afraid of being alone, 
Father that they are scared of, oh, how am I going to cope? I've known this person for years. I've been attached to this person. I, I don't think I can let this person go. I don't think I will be able to live without this person. They decide to stay in some of these toxic relationships and, you know, it just drains them. So I've really learned a lot from this lady because she literally teaches you what, how not to settle in a relationship, you know, when to really pick up yourself and leave the relationship, how, how not to go back to these people, you know, how to face breakups and just generally things about relationships. And one thing that I really, really, really love about this her podcast is that as she speaks about this thing, she incorporates God into it, spirituality, how dating and like spirituality and dating, how to incorporate both of them together, how when dating, how not to forget yourself, how not to lose yourself just because you're dating or you give up on, you know, your closeness with God just because okay now I have a boyfriend or now I have a partner I don't really think I, I need God right now as a podcast has really helped me grow and even if I'm not using it why I am not currently using it right now in my life a point where a time will come when I will have to utilize and harness all these things that I've learned from her so if you are somebody I don't even think if you're somebody as a girl I think you should be listening to this, this podcast because one of the reasons why I even love to listen podcast for people who are probably in their late 20s or in their 30s is because it's like getting an advice from a big sister you're getting first-hand information from somebody who has gone through this process somebody who has been there somebody who has done these things that you are probably experiencing now or you're or you're yet to experience so the advice is more tangible than somebody who hasn't really been through any of this process so that's why i really love to visit the podcast of women like this so quality queen control by Asia christina is my number two podcast that i listen to that i really really love so much is you can rest here by Massino Malaka. Now, if you are following me on Instagram, and if you're not following me, you better follow me. Like, I am going to leave my details in the description box for you to follow me because if I'm not here, I'm there. If you're following me on Instagram, you would notice or you would remember a day when I posted this podcast on my story and I explained how great this podcast made me feel after listening to it. I got to know about this podcast on Dima Ume's story. She posted about this podcast, but when she actually posted about it, I wasn't really forced to go and watch it at first because I was like, well, I don't, I was not really keen on knowing what the podcast was about. But I kind of noticed that because I follow Dima Ume and I love Dima Ume so much and I just know that anything that she would be recommending has to be great. Like she, she just has to be great. And I also know the lady because I've seen the lady before, uh, probably on her story or something. I know that the lady is her friend, you know. So I, and I also noticed that people were posting so much. People were reposting this podcast so much. So I remember one Saturday I was doing my laundry in school. I decided to listen to this podcast while I do my laundry. And I kid you not. I listened to this podcast. I was literally in the bathroom washing my clothes, doing my laundry, and I listened to this podcast. And I don't know, like, it just felt right. It's like, it just made me feel so peaceful. Like, this lady literally, like the name says, you can rest here. This is not a podcast you would listen to when you're jiggly, when you're so hyperactive. This is something you listen to when you really want to hear from God, when you really want to get to know God because her podcast is generally centered around God. She speaks so much about God. Like even listening to her and Dima, because that day the podcast was more of like their testimonies, things that you know how faithful God has been in their lives. And just listening to their testimonies about you know what God has done for them just made me so grateful for what God has been done in my life. You know, a lot of the times we ask God for it. Like we constantly ask God in our prayers, God, I want this, God, I want that, God, you've not done this for me, you've not done that for me. And we forget the fact that God has literally been doing a lot for us. But we are not even appreciating, we're not even acknowledging the fact that He has done so much for us. The fact that, that you're alive this morning is enough reason to glorify God. There are so many things that at some point you were begging God for and He did it for you. But right now, because you are looking for something else or because you are longing for something else, 
you forgot about what God has done for you and now you're just all about I want this, I want that, I want this, I want that. That day listening to this two ladies speak on this podcast, it just made me glorify God in that bathroom. It just made me appreciate what God has done for me, no matter how small it is. It just made me love God even more. Like, I just wanted to even get to know this, my God. That was the first day I listened to that podcast. And after then, I have constant every week I listen to her podcast. Even before recording this video, that was the last podcast I listened to before coming live right now. I love this podcast so much because it centers around you know getting to know God because even sometimes like when I read the Bible when I study the Bible now this is not to say that when I read the Bible I don't understand what I'm reading but sometimes there are just some things that are very complex to me that I just I just do not understand and because I don't have a pastor around me I just okay wing it and like okay maybe this is what he's trying to say but this lady kind of takes out time to really explain God's love for us and really explain how God is and the promise God has for us and how God really wants us to draw closer to Him. Some things that I maybe do not really understand when I'm studying the Bible, when I hear her speak on them, it just opens my eyes to the mercy and the love of God. And another thing about this podcast is that she also incorporates other topics with talking about but like um the topic she spoke on last week was on marriage where she invited her mother to speak on marriage and i was just so happy because like the time will come when the knowledge or the, the advice or things that i heard from people who have been in marriages for years like 30 40 years the advice that you know they gave would be beneficial to me in my own marriage so i mean i really enjoyed the last episode where she invited her mom because her mom really spoke on her own marriage and you know you just get to see that relationships are not supposed to be all those like relationship being in a relationship is work like it's a lot of work or you just have to put in that work for it to work out so i really really love this podcast and mind you at the end of this video i will put all the links in the description box so that if there is any one of the podcasts that you'd like to listen to it will be very easy for you to have access podcast on my list is pep talk by Brini Lee. I hope I pronounced her name correctly. This podcast, I found out about this podcast this year. I was just going through my podcast list. I was going through like just the whole Apple podcast and I came across this podcast. I'm like, okay, let me go and just listen to it and see what it's about. Because sometimes I go through the Apple podcast to just find out new podcasts that I can add to my already existing podcast. That was when I came across Pep Talk and like I really, really love this podcast. Like Bring Lee is such an intelligent woman. She's she just I think she just clocked 30. I think the first episode I listened to on her podcast that just made me stick to her to her podcast was 30 things she wished she knew before she turned 30. And a lot of things were just making sense. Like a lot of things, like some of the things she listed out, I literally saw myself doing and I was just learning a lot. I was just learning a lot. Like this, this lady is someone who has lived life for 30 years. So this is somebody who is well experienced when it comes to relationship, when it comes to dating, when it comes to life in general. At least she has a level of experience than myself. I just loved the podcast so much and I learned a lot of things because there were just so many things in that place, like in that her list that she made mention of that I found out that I was literally doing and I was like, no, like I just have to keep listening to this lady's podcast. And I continue listening to her podcast and you know she speaks so much on life on relationships on things not to accept just because you need somebody her podcast is just basically sent around growth as a lady self-development how to be confident in yourself how not to settle for people how to have self-worth and how to know who you are because when you know who you are when you have when you have a lot of confidence and a lot of self-worth people will treat you the exact same way because you actually show people how to treat you if you have 
a very low self-esteem and you lack confidence and you don't even have self-worth, that is the same way people treat you and you're going to keep attracting people that will continue to treat you that same way. I have been listening to our podcast for a minute and I really, really, really love this podcast. If you're a lady who you're looking to grow or you are probably in like a relationship that you're not really sure if what you sense are red flags are really red because sometimes in a relationship you might be blinded by love something that looks like red might resemble umbra i mean that's what relationship does to people right so a lady or you're a girl you're trying to build your self-confidence you need a coach you need somebody to help you and just somebody that you can listen to someone that you can learn from i don't just listen to this podcast you know it's one thing to listen to something and just to sit back and relax i listen to this podcast and i implement meant things that I learned from this podcast into my day-to-day life, into my life. Hi loves, so if you notice at this point my lightning kind of went off and I just couldn't stop because I was at the point where I was wrapping up the video. So please ignore the lightning and just take the message out of the video, okay? I love you guys. Now the fifth and final podcast is woman of elegance now i'd like to say that this is not necessarily a podcast because if you go on apple podcast you won't find it there however she's on youtube but i kind of used to call it a podcast because i listen to her so much and she has literally changed my life and helped me grow woman of elegance is that channel that you literally listen to like if you want to learn to become an elegant woman if you want to know the kind of dresses an elegant woman would wear the kind of dress an elegant woman would not wear how an elegant woman would speak the way an elegant woman would behave not just to people that she cares about but even people that she doesn't know how to become an elegant woman the kind of attitude you need to portray in order to be an elegant woman i found out this channel i think it was just one video i watched or something and i was just so glued to this thing like she will literally teach you on how to speak because you see some people like they speak anyhow in public like that is not the trait of an elegant woman if you're a lady if you're a girl you are looking to elevate your wardrobe or there are people who love to dress chic and elegantly just like myself if you're somebody who you know you're looking to you want to elevate your wardrobe but you don't really know how to go about it or you don't really know the kind of dresses that you know an elegant woman should wear i would encourage you to watch this lady's channel because i'm telling you by the time you watch like 10 videos from her you would change like it will change how you do things it will change how you speak it will change how you relate to people you would literally learn etiquette not just about speaking you also learn dining etiquette how to behave yourself in public how not to act in public Public, things that you do that would make you look tacky you know this lady she's a very brilliant woman I love her and if you're someone who have been following me on Instagram I'm very sure you must have seen all these things I've been talking about in one way or the other so thank you all for sticking with me throughout this video these are the five podcasts that I listen to I still have more podcasts that I listen to but if you want to see more of this kind of videos you just let me know in the comment section and I will create more videos like this if you enjoyed the video kindly give this video a big thumbs up click on the red subscribe button to become a part of the family because it helps with my youtube algorithm and i would really appreciate it so all that being said my loves i will see you all in my next video Bye.